So that's the different, I guess, ways of structuring, you know, proportional versus non-proportional layers versus, you know, follow the fortunes and share premiums and claims equally. Mm -hmm. I, in terms of what's covered, uh, we have a, a few different types that we, we mentioned earlier on. So I, maybe you can help our listeners think about the difference between FAC and, and treaty and, and retro. Like what, what do those strange words mean? Yeah. So treaty we touched on a bit earlier, which is that sort of portfolio of relatively similar risks that they can sort of group together and they buy the protection, the, the reinsurance on the underlying activity of that whole portfolio. So all the premiums that will go into that portfolio, all the claims that will be incurred from that portfolio. Um, facultative would be when you have very large one-off risks. So again, if I'm writing property insurance, I might write a number of homes upwards of um, up to a million dollars in, in value. Um, but I also write the shard, which is a multi-hundred million dollar, billion dollar skyscraper. Like I don't want to include that in my homeowner's portfolio because it, it might skew the results of that portfolio. So what you, in, what you do instead is you purchase reinsurance for just that specific risk. So it's, and that can be a couple risks that are very similar but stand out quite drastically or it's individual risks in their entirety. But it's intended the same mechanism is at play. You could do it proportionally or um, you could do it on a, on a non-proportional basis, but you're essentially saying this one risk is individual and unique and it requires its own underwriting, but you're seeking to protect that singular asset versus a portfolio. Um, retro, we've talked about a bit before, but it's when the reinsurance company purchases their reinsurance. So that's usually, again, a portfolio because they've written reinsurance across a number of different um, insurance company clients that they're then saying, okay, well, we don't want, as you said, it's a hedging mechanism. They don't want the potential exposure for all those insurance companies to land in any given year. So they too will say, okay, we want to offload some of this risk into to other reinsurers who will, you know, help, help offset any exposure that they have. 